Hello, and welcome to the Blue Hills tutorial of how to play ORF instruments. It's me, Mr. G. I hope you're as excited as I am for you to start playing these, or to review and to start playing them again. Generally, we play them in third and fourth grade, but sometimes in second grade. So first thing that we need to learn or review is all these instruments. So there's three kinds of main ORF instruments. There are the Glockenspiels. That's German for little bell. They're smaller, and they have metal bars. They're called Glockenspiels because Glockenspiel means little bell, which is exactly what they sound like. Here we have what's called the xylophone. Xylo is Greek for wood. So if the bars are wooden, you've got a xylophone. You'll notice it has a much drier, shorter sound. And then finally we have the metallophone way over here. It's basically the xylophone, except for the bars are made of metal. You'll notice the tones really ring for a long time. Now let's talk about how we get to the instrument. When you are called, you will need to walk to the instruments. Please do not step over them. Don't jump on them. So we don't step over ever like this. We don't try to fit through this corner. No, walk all the way around the instruments like so. You'll usually be sitting to where your eyes can then be on the smart board, which is where we'll have sheet music or whatever we're practicing playing with. Then pick up your mallets and put them in rest position on your shoulders. Do not play whatever you want. Do not click your mallets together or you will be giving up your instrument to somebody else. Once you're locked and we're ready to go, it'll be time to play. You may take the mallets off your shoulders. Remember to hold them like a bicycle using good posture. And whenever we play, we hit the instruments lightly we hit them in the middle of the bar, and we bounce so they can vibrate. It's also important to alternate your hands. One important thing we'll do is the crossboard in, which is C, G, C, G. You'll see I cross over with my other hand, but the whole time I'm bouncing, if you don't, it mutes the vibrations. It doesn't make a good sound. When we're done playing, it's important you immediately lock so I don't have to wait for everyone to finish. That way we'll have more turns and more rotations of the instrument. When you're done, put your mouth just flat down like this. Do not flip these up or you will slowly break the spokes that hold them. Don't ever lean on it. Do not stretch out where you might kick. Many times I have students kick the instruments and it drives me crazy. Don't do that. Crisscross or kneeling, just like I'm doing. I think that pretty much covers everything you need to know about ORF instruments. Um, yeah, have a wonderful day and I can't wait to play with you.